Bethany, how about you tell us a little bit about not just your return to professional surfing, but also winning a championship title after the shark attack? Yeah, I guess I look back on my life and I'm so thankful that I continued surfing after the loss of my arm because um, it's been able to be become a dream come true to continue on and become a professional surfer and working my hardest at what I love to do. And yeah, I, you know, it's I think a lot of people are surprised when they just see me out in the ocean doing my thing and I'm kind of a mermaid. so. <laughs> I love being able to just surf for a living, and I recently finished my best career result in Fiji. Um, I had some incredible competition, and, and came on top against the girls. So I felt, and I had so much respect for all these girls that I was competing against. So it felt really good to just do well. <laughs> right now, um, what else should we expect from you from this season? We read about your performance in Fiji and it's awesome you know your wild card entry and then you know you took out the top competitor so what should we expect from you yeah I mean I'm actually not so focused on competition right now I've kind of been putting all my focus on creating my new film Surf's Like a Girl and it's kind of a kind of touching on like the hidden side of my surfing career which I don't know a lot of people just kind of think of me as that like 13 year old girl who lost her arm to a shark or I don't know, the soul surfer, so we're kind of like divulging more into like my passions and being able to share that and also encouraging women out in their sports to go get out there and rock it and it's exciting. I'm super excited to share it. That's really awesome. Um, now, when people talk about, you know, following their passion and stuff like that, sometimes they have adversity to, you know, overcome or personal struggles. There's a lot of young adults who hold themselves up to like super high standards mm. so what advice do you have you know to give to people like that who are just kind of facing adversity or something like that in their lives and you know they need to push through but they might not know how yeah I mean adversity comes in so many different forms whether it's like different pressures we put on ourselves or the society like kind of puts in our minds in our or um, in my case like the sudden loss of my arm or just different tragedies like that and it's it's amazing how we can overcome though and there's so much beautiful things to look forward to in life and to be thankful for and I love to tell people like hey just be your beautiful unique self and embrace that and move forward in confidence and um, so today I'm really excited to be here with Dr. Kozlowski and we're kind of talking about smiling in particular because I think it's like the most beautiful part of us to be able to share smiles with each other so Right. And then, Dr. Kowalski, why do you think a person's smile can be their best asset? Well, you know, in many ways, a smile is the first thing we look at when we speak with other people. Bethany and I were talking about how uh, you could go to a, another country and not even speak the language, but you can speak to somebody with a smile. And so with we're talking about how to overcome adversity and, and orthodontics with the Damon system and Damon braces is a way that I, as an orthodontist, can help patients overcome what they feel as is something holding them back is their smile or the crooked teeth, the improper bite. And so orthodontic treatment can change the way someone feels about their smile, which then gives them the power to use that smile to bring their inner self out and help them do great things in the world. So just like Bethany's done with her smile. That's awesome. And then um, I read a little bit about your office, your orthodontics. Uh, it says, you know, you said it's more about the experience. You don't want yeah. it to feel like it's something that's happening to them. Why do you think that's important and how do you think that helps your patients? Well, you know, I often say uh, in my office, it's not about the teeth. The teeth is what we do, um, but not how we do it. How we do it is, is by having every person who walks in the door realize that they are being given an opportunity to change how they feel about themselves. To, to, to use this, this gift of a great smile that's been given to them to go out into the world and, and change the experience of others. So from the moment somebody comes in the office, it's really less about the teeth and it's about, I like to teach people in the office that life is, you get out of life what you put into it. And whether that's studying for good grades, whether that's working hard to become a pro surfer and a, and a, you know, and a tour champion, or whether it's, um, you know, cleaning your room so your parents are happy with you. I have that conversation <laughs> right. with my kids a lot. You know, life is what you get out of it, and your smile will be what you, you get out of it, what you put into it. And with the Damon system, we can create great smiles for patients. 
And now for people who are not aware of what the Damon system is, can you explain that just a little bit? Yeah, so the Damon system is, is a technological advancement in braces that allows the orthodontist to use lighter forces. Um, the braces have, um, they're what's called self-ligating. They hold the wire into place so we don't need to put the little color ties around them, which can make it harder to clean. And um, the Damon system seems to be lighter forces for my patients and more comfortable. But ultimately what it enables me to do is create the best smile possible in the least amount of time. And more often than not, mm -hmm. I can do that without having to remove teeth. So uh, patients really love it. That's awesome. And then um, back to you, Bethany. So I was doing a bit of research on you. Friends of Bethany is inspiring, uh, completely <laughs> awesome actually when I was looking at it. So why is that something that's important to you as you continue you know, with your life? Yeah, well, I love um, working with my foundation, Friends of Bethany, and I get to be a part of a lot of different events um, and you know, different events throughout the year. And But Friends of Bethany, hands down, puts down my favorite events, um, one being Beautifully Flawed. It's a retreat for amputee girls, and we kind of have a weekend together. Um, myself and a few other leaders kind of encouraging all the girls through their struggles and hard times and we take them all surfing and these are all girls with limb differences so we're getting them out of their comfort zone out in the ocean and just having a good time being able to relate to each other and encourage each other through um, our struggles and just to get out there and be their beautiful selves and um, so that's just one reason why I love being a part of Friends, Friends of Bethany and um, yeah, I love being able to be an encouragement to others, and that's what Friends with Me does. So it's fun. It's, it's fitting for my passions. <laughs> right, yeah, that's really, really cool. Now, um, both of you have talked about, you know, adversity and people smiling through hard times. What is something that each of you have gone through that people might not think? I know, Bethany, you know, you lost your arm, and that was a huge part of adversity for you. But what else have you struggled with that, you know, you can kind of relate to other people on kind of that kind of surface? Yeah, I mean, I guess specifically, like, uh, one thing I like to talk about specifically kind of towards gearing teenage girls or young women, um, I found that our culture can be, like, so, I don't know, just, like, pushy and, like, almost, like, telling girls they have to be a certain way to be beautiful. And, right. And, you know, at times I struggle with that and, you know, it was an adjustment growing into my womanhood body and like just adjusting to that and being confident in myself. And so that at times was a struggle for me. And but now I really just cherish my health and I cherish the life that I have. And I love to just encourage others to do the same and to not focus so much on necessarily I don't know, the little little things that don't matter so much, but to just right. sh show off your beautiful smile and be your natural self. And I don't know, let your passions like take you and guide you to do great things. And I think for me, um, I like to, I talk to my kids about choosing to be happy each day. There's so much that goes on in life that we could complain about. You know, we woke up late or the, uh, you know, the, we missed the bus to school or we have too much homework to do tonight. And I try and remind both myself and my kids to, to choose to be happy. We have an opportunity to do so many things in this world. And you could go through life being happy or you could go through life being unhappy about it. And so not everything is going to go perfect. Everybody has their flaws and everybody has things in their life that they have to overcome. But doing so with a smile and happiness really helps to create the positivity that we need in society. I agree 100 percent and talking to both of you today has definitely made me smile so thank you so much for you know giving us a chance to do that and I hope both of you have a great day. Thank you so, thank much. You so much and if you'd like to learn more about Damon Braces head to DamonBraces.com and click on the Damon Doctor locator and enter in your zip code and yeah. And you got to check out her emojis on the app store the Damon <laughs> Smile Bethany Hamilton emojis. Very cool if you have oh, braces perfect. to have brace emojis. <laughs> oh that's awesome okay we'll do that thank you. Thanks thank Ashley. You very much, Ashley. Thank you.